Hey, good morning again. Just thought I'd come out and uh, go over a couple things. I, I just I couldn't help. I just I'm sitting in the house and it's just gorgeous outside. You know, the sun's coming out nice. It's not a cloud in the sky right now. It's just a gorgeous morning, so I figured I'd come out. And just talk a little bit about what happened to me and uh, what kind of brought me to the point where I really felt like I had to reinvent my life. So, um, yeah, really, but what came down to me, uh, some of you folks might be in the same situation. Where, uh, uh, I had an incident in my life going back almost five, it's five months ago, actually, just about that caused me to uh, rethink the whole uh, career that I was in. And uh, I've been dabbling with internet marketing for years, just uh, on the side, but I, I was in, I've been in the catering business for a long time. Well, for, um, oh, in the food industry for over 25 years, and full-time catering for about seven or eight years. And I, I, as an activity, I play ice hockey, and I, I've played for years, early mornings. We play at six in the morning, prior to everybody going to work, so we just get up, go, go play. And one Friday morning on March 5th, I, I was playing, and I went to lift the guy's stick up, and I, I snap, I pop my, my uh, bicep tendon. In. Uh, it's probably, uh, I don't know if you can see the scar there or not, it's probably not. It's healing up pretty well. But what happened is uh, I needed to get surgery to reattach the tendon. And it, and it was a, a two-month, eight-week process just for the healing process. So I had a, quite a brace on for like a cast and then slash brace for two months. Slowly started being able to move my arm again. and. Uh, and, and then the rehab uh, physical therapy process after that. And I just basically, about a month and a half ago, got done with physical therapy and going to the office. And now I'm on my own regiment, which I do things at home and at the gym where I'm trying to strengthen my bicep. Because what happens after you, you, you do an injury like that, your muscle, after two months of doing nothing other than trying to just keep motion, um, your muscle becomes you know, just a blob of nothing. And, Yes, it takes a long time to build it back up. So I, I was basically forced to require, me, uh, rely on, on, on a lot of help that I had prior. I had some uh, family help and, and to keep my catering business going. But up to that point, for the last couple of years, I've been thinking about getting out of business and dabbling with other things and wanting to get into marketing. And um, so, uh, it, you know, it was, a, it was like, you know, the old saying, a straw that broke the camel's back kind of thing. It was just, you know, this is it. This is, it, it's my time. I'm done, you know. And it made me an incident that, you know, I look, I look back and say, oh, I was kind of a pain on that going through that whole you know, circumstance. But that whole incident made me start rethinking everything. And it was the beginning of the reinvention of what I'm doing in my life. And, uh, and, you know, and again, like when I come down to this place, and it just it makes me you, know, you get the birds, you get the, the lake, the ducks going by. It's very calm, very quiet. It makes you start to think about things. And I, I, I enjoy just spending some time thinking things. And um, and that's, you know, uh, that incident in my life gave me some time to st sit. I couldn't do it, physical things for, for months. And I, I, I started thinking about changing and working towards the change and uh, I'm sure some of you out there are in the middle of maybe not a physical issue maybe you are in the middle of a physical issue that's making you, uh, your career uh, kind of obsolete for you now uh, if that's the case um, you know it, if, if anybody can do I mean I'm talking about physical work I've done for years I didn't spend much time doing a lot of uh, scholastic type things for the last 20 some years for me to study and read, learn some new things at my age, I just turned 50, is uh, it's a it's a huge thing. But I'm doing it, and you can do it. And uh, a lot of you might be in the middle of a similar circumstance where you're like, oh, what am I going to do now? I'll tell you. Get in a quiet place. Think about what you want your life to be like. Think about where you're at, and then come up with a plan on how to get there. And I can help you get that plan together. I did it for myself. You just got to spend, you know, you got to sit down and do it. You, know, you can't just spend uh, every day just kind of think about it out, out, you know, while you're driving. Oh yeah, I got to do. It. You got to really do it. And uh, but we'll, I can, in, in a future video, we can go over that. I can give you uh, some uh, 
help that I, you know, things that, I, that helped me. And, you know, I've read many different books, and I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that too. Magazine articles, and things that really address this issue. And, uh, but we'll talk about it in the future. And, uh, just enjoy the day wherever you are. As I'm in today. I mean, uh, this last few days has been awesome. Just being able to, you know, kind of chill a little bit and, and think about what I want to do. Next next week, as I go really get really into some serious uh, work, a new new direction for me in a full time capacity anyway. But uh, I just wanted to share some of the uh, the scenery here. You know, maybe someday uh, in the future we'll all have uh, the ideal life that we you know want, and we'll be able to in that direction. So you have a good day. We'll uh, maybe take that little little boat out tomorrow and uh, just take some take some shots of uh, around this pond that you might like to see and talk a little bit more. Thanks. Have a good day now.